Hey guys, it's Julia. What's up? Today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite all natural skincare beauty products and hopefully they'll help you too. I found them really helpful. Anyways, let's get started. So to start with, my favorite skincare product I've been using recently is this Indian Healing Clay Mask. I found it at Whole Foods and usually I use it once a week at night. It works really well because the next morning I'll wake up and my skin is really clean and refreshed. I'll mix with it a little bit of apple cider vinegar and you can find this probably at the grocery store too. But um, mix that together and then put it all over your face. Usually it'll take 15 to 20 minutes. Then you just wipe it off. Yeah, it works really well. Also, you know, I use a little bit of charcoal and I mix that in with the clay mask. I also find that it works really well. You know, I've heard about the charcoal thing. It does work really well. You can find it on Amazon for maybe 10 bucks or so, but it, it's worth it. My second favorite mask that I also like to use is this guy right here. I found it at, I think Whole Foods also. It leaves your skin tone more equal after. It's not as harsh as the other clay mask, but it's a little bit more gentle and I find that it works really well. So to follow up a clay mask, I'll usually use a serum. And my favorite one I've been using so far is this little guy. I got it as a tester from Sephora. Probably gonna end up buying a bigger one of them once I use it up. It leaves my skin really hydrated and refreshed in the morning. After the clay mask, this draws out all the impurities. This kind of heals it up. Usually after using a clay mask, your skin may be a little bit red, but this will fix it. Yeah, it's been working really well for me recently. Another one of my favorite serums I love to follow up one of my clay masks with is this one. It's coconut oil with vitamin E, and it really helps to just add those nutrients back into your face after you draw out everything with the clay mask. So yeah, this one's just another one of my favorite serums I love to use. Also, I love, love this lip scrub. I found it in Whole Foods, um, but I love to use it, you know, after a shower and so on, and you just rub it on your lips and it leaves them really like soft and hydrated. Um, I never really thought about using a lip scrub until I just decided to get it, try it out. And I really have loved this one so far. I think it's brown sugar flavor, I don't know. It works really well for me, so yeah. So another thing I love to use in the shower is this coffee scrub to exfoliate your skin. And I use it like a couple times a week, not too much. Uh, I don't want to over exfoliate, but yeah, it works really well. It's a good exfoliator and it leaves your skin hydrated because it has coconut oil in it. Exfoliating helps to regenerate new skin cells and keep your body skin really nice and smooth and yeah so I've been loving this recently as my exfoliator. Another product I love to use after taking a shower to hydrate it's coconut oil. I just find that it works really well. It's natural and it helps to just kind of even your skin tone and leave it really hydrated, so yeah. To whiten teeth, what I've been doing recently is using either coconut oil and doing oil pulling for 20 minutes. I swish it around my mouth, you know, just take a little spoon, put it in, and don't swallow it, but yeah, it's been working really well to whiten teeth, and also, you know, I switch it off and I may use charcoal, put a little bit on a toothbrush, and just brush it on your teeth for five minutes and I find that either one of these work really well to whiten your teeth. They're all natural so they don't harm anything with your enamel but yeah I love these both really well to whiten teeth. So my favorite everyday facial cleanser that I love to use is this Purity Made Simple uh, facial cleanser and I use it in the morning or before I go to bed and it works really well to just kind of 
get out any makeup or dirt on your skin and it leaves it really refreshed and clean so I would definitely recommend this as an everyday facial cleanser. Lately I've been using tea tree oil and I find it really helpful to just hydrate your nails and leave them more healthy and I use it more in the winter but even now I'll use it every once in a while to just kind of make my nails a little bit more healthier and so yeah I would definitely recommend this just to hydrate your nails. My skin's a bit irritated. I love to use this Vico turmeric skin cream. It really helps to just heal your skin. I'll put it on before bed and then I'll wake up in the morning and my skin complexion is so much evener and it really helps to just heal any kind of maybe acne or anything that just kind of pops up and you're like freaking out. Use this before bed and I promise it'll look so much better in the morning. So I was really surprised at how well this worked. So I would definitely recommend this. I like to call it my miracle cream. So yeah, have a pimple or some kind of thing that just pops up and I really want to heal it quickly. I love to use this crit. It looks kind of weird, but um, I'll get a Q-tip, put a little bit of it on it and put it on my skin before I go to bed and put a band-aid over it, but you wake up in the morning and your skin, whatever it is, a pimple, it will be healed. And so I find that this works really well. It's all natural, homeopathic. My favorite website that I love to read about all these kind of all natural skin treatments, anything from wellness to diet to beauty trends, the Beauty Gypsy, I'll link it in the description. It's my favorite website. I love to just read all the articles, so many things there. I definitely recommend that if you want to read about anything else, go look there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Make sure to follow me on my social media accounts. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time.